Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. German police are reminding motorists that nobody is above the law. The move comes after officers stopped six U.S. Army howitzers saying the vehicles were overloaded and didn't have the correct identification documents. Autobahns in Germany are famous for their high-speed traffic, so it's no surprise local police are always on high alert. Yet convoys loaded with the U.S. Army's large caliber cannons are not something law enforcement has to deal with every day. The aforementioned convoy consisting of trailers ferrying six American M109 self-propelled howitzers to an undisclosed location run by the U.S. Army was stopped by Saxony Traffic Police in the middle of the A4 Highway. The unusual transport was stopped just outside the eastern German town of Bautzen. Through a thorough inspection of the convoy re revealed that required transportation documents were missing, the cargo was too wide, and above all, too heavy, the police explained. One of the trucks was also overloaded by about 16 tons, and the drivers dispatched by a Polish cargo company had already exceeded their driving and exhaustion limits. Wow, so... um. Evidently, this uh, this convoy wasn't being driven, if I understand this, this wasn't being driven by U.S. Army personnel, but that the drivers were dispatched by a Polish cargo company. Huh. And they were traveling to a uh, an undisclosed uh, location run by the U.S. Army. And they were pulled over probably because they were going too slow and they were too heavy to be out on one of these autobahns. I don't know. I'm curious to know who for real was driving in this convoy, and also, and more importantly, where was this convoy headed? Was it headed to eventually station or, or, or stage somewhere along the border with Russia uh, once it left uh, Germany? I don't know. Um, just makes me wonder, folks, but I find this very interesting. Maybe if you think about it, it could be a bit humorous. Certainly, if you were uh, if you were to witness it, you would find it funny, I suppose. But, but there are unanswered questions here. Anyway, I will leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if, if you feel so led to. Please check out the links to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story a link to a free read of chapter one, which is called Fake News, and a link to some music of mine all below the video in the description area. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. If you live in America, you're a character in Fortress, a Wayfarer story. It's gritty, it's edgy, it's timely, and it's today. It's fiction that the deep state does not want you to read. What will you do if this story comes true? Get it in Kindle and paperback at the link in the description area below this video.